Hey there guys, welcome to this short little video. Today I'm showing you some tips for SCP Secret Laboratory. I have like a lot of hours on it, so I just discovered this. I didn't do any research. Just let you know. I just played a game. Uh, if you look to the side slide, you can see a lot more because, well, you can see if you look like this way. So just look like this, and then you can see a lot more. But more distance, and you can avoid 096 uh, attacking you. And you, can, and you can see more, and that's very useful in most situations. And adrenaline. Let me talk about. Let me t just talk about adrenaline. I don't have it uh, on me because I'm a MTF something. Cadet. Or I don't know the new name. And that's it. So. Uh, so adrenaline. And, uh, let me just tell you about sprinting. So. Uh, when the sprint meter goes all the way out, uh, you can't sprint anymore, but if you use adrenaline, then it will go all the way up again. So I recommend that you uh, have some adrenaline to escape light containment. So instead of upgrading to SCP-100, just upgrade to, uh, to adrenaline, because adrenaline is the most useful thing. Uh, Okay, I'm going to talk about MTF and Chaos and how to uh, to get into the facility, depending on if there's an SCP-096 or not. Uh, you should just get in there uh, from both sides, split into two groups if you want to play efficient and get inside and uh, make sure that nobody can just get around and uh, back get you from behind and kill you. Just, get, just enter to both elevators. Uh, Check the zones. If nobody's there, you can just check in spectator before you spawn in. Just uh, check where everybody is, where their speeds are, because they are very dangerous compared to, uh, well, uh, people. Unless they have a grenade or a micro, so just watch out for those people. And that is it. So we're splitting into two groups. Uh, equal amount. Just uh, if you have a lot of players. If you're not, then you have, then you just stay in one big group. If you have like 5-6 people, then you should just stay in one group. If you have like 10-12, then you should split into two two groups or more. Like 5 people in each group is very nice, or 4. 4 is a good number. 4 in both groups. I don't know what the SCP is, but uh, the, what, the jars ones that gives you that makes you like freeze and uh, di t take damage over time is very useful if you want to camp certain spots like at the right back at uh, at the exits area, just place both of them in like two different spots, and uh, it will annoy the uh, a lot annoy the players that are trying to kill you. So you can just camp over there. It's making life pain for the people that are trying to kill you, and you can have a shotgun only. And then you can easily just well take them down because they have taken enough damage, and it's two hundred percent if you place them close together. So just do that. That's my advice. And it will spread out, so just place them uh, not to. Like, should place them at least somewhere good. Voice chat can be a little annoying, so just turn it a little bit down. Uh, the more, it's more important that you have sound effects. That's what I recommend. Just having a sound effect higher instead of having voice chat. Or not, you can just have voice chat up because well, people can just play like uh, SCP sounds through the microphone. But you will notice a difference depending on how loud it is. My number, maybe double or triple the the sound effect level compared to the voice chat because voice chat can be annoying unless you're trying to win and you should maybe just talk and yeah that's that's the only time that you should well do it just have it down just not too much I don't even have it at like a couple percent depending on how much how uh, much volume do you have on the uh, your computer. Right, it's all around. round. Uh, some SCPs might might uh, well uh, die for uncast reason. Uh, mean that they just left the game or something else. Type the command. I made them just die. People might steal from you and take or just take the grab the item before you and uh, can't really do anything about it. So I recommend that you try to just. Uh, Grab something from people when you're 914, just try to take steal from them. Just stealing items is pretty useful. And candy is useful, but not that much because they can close the door and just make you stuck in there. 
Oh, no good candy. Green. Can, do it have more high jump? No, I forgot it to change it. <sighs> At least this one gives me... Some shield. I'm playing on a um, modded server with some custom plugins and dead. Trying to leave. <laughs> just if you get killed by for nine, just instantly leave. Just goodbye. And uh, this is another video. Just please watch my other videos if you want. I might, might I might upload some more videos about uh, this game if you want. Just play the game. Just show you some stuff. Just talk and just play it normally. Just goodbye. I will upload videos when I can. Which is not that often, so goodbye.